Understanding Muscle Contraction, Physiology and Steps. Hello, welcome to the Science Guide ASAP Learning. Today we are going to be speaking about the physiology of a muscle contraction. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. Muscle contraction is a complex physiological process that is essential for movement and bodily functions. In this video, we will explore the steps involved in muscle contraction and how they contribute to movement. Understanding muscle contraction is important for athletes, medical professionals, and anyone interested in the human body. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of the physiological processes that underlie muscle contraction and how they contribute to our ability to move. Muscle cell components. Muscle cells or fibers contain several essential components that contribute to muscle contraction. The sarcomeres, which are the basic unit of muscle contraction, are composed of two types of protein filaments, actin and myosin. The actin filaments are thin, while the myosin filaments are thick. These filaments overlap with each other, forming the characteristic striated pattern of muscle cells. During muscle contraction, the myosin filaments slide past the actin filaments, causing the sarcomere to shorten. This sliding action is facilitated by the interaction between actin and myosin, which requires the presence of calcium ions. Calcium ions play a crucial role in muscle contraction by binding to the protein complex troponin tropomyosin, which regulates the interaction between actin and myosin. When calcium ions are released into the muscle cell, they bind to troponin, causing tropomyosin to move aside and expose the binding site on actin for myosin. Understanding the role of each component in muscle contraction is important in comprehending the complex physiology of movement. The Steps of Muscle Contraction During muscle contraction, a series of events occurs that results in the shortening of muscle fibers and the generation of force. The process begins with depolarization of the muscle cell membrane, which is initiated by the arrival of an action potential at the neuromuscular junction. This depolarization spreads down the length of the muscle fiber, causing the release of calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The released calcium ions bind to troponin, which causes tropomyosin to shift its position and expose the binding site on actin. Myosin heads then attach to actin, forming cross bridges. The energy for this attachment comes from the hydrolysis of ATP by myosin ATPase. Once myosin heads are attached to actin, they undergo a conformational change that pulls the actin filaments towards the center of the sarcomere. This process is known as the power stroke, and it is driven by the release of ADP and inorganic phosphate from the myosin heads. As new ATP molecules bind to the myosin heads, the cross bridges detach from actin, and the myosin heads return to their original position. This allows the process to repeat, with the myosin heads forming new cross bridges and initiating new power strokes. The repeated cycles of attachment, power stroke, and detachment continue until the calcium ions are pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum causing the tropomyosin to cover the actin binding site and stopping the contraction. This results in the relaxation of the muscle fiber and the release of the generated force. Neuromuscular junction. The neuromuscular junction is a specialized synapse between a motor neuron and a muscle fiber. It plays a crucial role in initiating muscle contraction. When an action potential reaches the axon terminal of the motor neuron, it triggers the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. Acetylcholine then binds to receptors on the muscle fiber, causing depolarization of the muscle cell membrane and the release of calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This ultimately leads to the binding of actin and myosin, resulting in the contraction of the sarcomere. Without the proper function of the neuromuscular junction, muscle contraction cannot occur. In conclusion, understanding muscle physiology and the process of muscle contraction is important for comprehending movement and overall physical function. The steps involved in muscle contraction, including depolarization, calcium release, actin-myosin binding, and sarcomere contraction, are essential to this process. Additionally, the role of the neuromuscular junction and acetylcholine cannot be overstated. By understanding the intricacies of muscle contraction, we can better appreciate the complexity of our bodies and the importance of proper muscle function for overall health and well-being. Hope this helps! Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one.